Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So I got some sales. I got, uh, oh, I'm going to show you. I've been putting together a vintage G.I. Joe piece. So I've been buying and selling, trying to get pieces for that. So I'll show you some of the progress on that. And uh, it ended up coming up, uh, it ended up coming along with some other stuff I can sell. And I've actually sold one item from it. So making a little money back and collecting. And oh, I got a, I got a gift from uh, Mike. So we'll take a look at that too. So let's check it out. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. All right, got a box from Mike. Thanks, Mike. No matter what it is, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's very heavy. Yeah, it feels pretty heavy. So let's check it out. See, unsealing it for the first time here. Thought you might need a few for your collection. Feel free to sell the rest. Just a small thank you. Love the videos. I like your style. P.S. This message will self-destruct. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Oh wow! So Blu-ray, a Blu-ray collection. Look at that. That's cool. Let's see what we got here. Ah, American Psycho. Nice. Oh, here's a couple of the individual disc alien resurrection alien 3 nice we got guardians of the galaxy and black hawk down both i think i didn't have those now the aliens ones i alien ones in american psycho these ones i do have already these ones i'm pretty sure i didn't so that's nice looks like nice nice copies then we got rock versus cena wwe Definitely don't have that. That's pretty neat. I'll have to check that out. That was another one I'm pretty sure I didn't have. Fantastic Four. As well as these two. Wedding Crashers and Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't have those as well. Nice. Lego Movie and Due Date. Uh, yeah, again, two I don't think I have in my collection. Awesome. Oh, wow, Dune. That That's cool. I, I, that one I didn't have in my collection. That's that's nice. Uh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Wow, that's that might be my my pick for the my favorite one out of this lot so far. We'll see. And uh, then we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have that one. got the original Matrix and Sherlock Holmes can't remember if I had the first Matrix or not I know I don't have that one so that's cool and we got Star Wars The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi multi-screen edition I think I might have these but I, I don't have this variant this version with the holographic slip cover for sure so that's pretty cool. So I'll compare those to the ones I got. Ah, True Grit. I know I have this one. This is a great movie. I love this movie. Zombie Land Double Tap. Another one I didn't have, I'm pretty sure. I think I might have the first Zombie Land. And then Avatar. Two different versions of Avatar we got here. This one. Do that later and then this deluxe one i'm pretty sure i had this is the one I, I do have this one here so pretty cool yeah that's a nice stack of blu-rays uh appreciate it mike uh yeah i'm gonna add most of these go into my collection and yeah i might i don't know maybe i can do a resale lot of the ones that i already have you know like put them together see you know you were asking about blu-rays yeah sometimes i mean a lot of them aren't worth a lot, but if you can find the right ones, you know, that's kind of how it goes. But, uh, yeah, my number one pick from this lot is definitely this Dune. That's pretty cool. 
All right, here we go. Here's the Rolling Thunder that I won from shopgoodwill.com. Seems to be in pretty decent shape. Uh, but like I said, um, they completely stripped it of everything. Except for, I guess, this this part. This part, a few parts were probably too too risky to take apart. So they, you know, so at least we have the sliding mechanism. Looks like it might be coming apart a little bit, but we'll see. So we got that. That's all intact. Now the only issue I see is there's a little bit of a, this, these tabs are broken, uh, broken a little bit. But maybe, I don't know, I don't know how hard it is to replace this piece right here. It's one, a single piece. I'm assuming that might be one of the harder ones to do. But we'll check it out. All the wheels are intact and looking good. So I think I do have a pretty nice base to start with right here. But again, I'm, I'm just overall disappointed in Goodwill this particular time and the fact that they literally stripped every single piece off of this thing and sold it in individual auctions. It's got, looks like nice decals there on both sides. So that's a, that's a plus. Yeah, and literally nothing nothing extra accessory wise on this but uh, i'm not going to complain because i have a good base with uh, all the wheels intact and i think i think everything else can be replaced repaired or whatever what have you oh the only other thing besides those tabs i showed you is i don't know how i don't know if those tabs are broken off or that's just how they were I have no idea because I've never had to roll in thunder, but I'll have to figure that out. But even if those are slightly broken, I'm assuming that will still be okay. Uh, probably the best we can do. So that's what I'm starting with. I paid about 50 bucks for that because, you know, it's cost a lot to ship these things. They're big items. But then now I have the eBay sellers box. So I'm going to open that up and we'll see what we got. Uh, I see what they've done. Okay, here's the eBay sellers box. And I see what they've done. They're so lazy that... So I just wanted the roll... I bought the Rolling Thunder in a separate separate uh, listing. And then I saw in this junk lot of toys they had, there was a... A... Uh, a uh, Rattler. Upside down, just like this in the pictures. So I was taking a risk. I said, "Hey, uh, can I get this rattler? Anyway, I can get this rattler. Uh, throw it. You know, can you throw it in for ten bucks? That was my initial offer." And they said, "Oh, well, you can just buy the lot, and then I'll refund you the appropriate amount." And they didn't. They didn't ever say like, "Oh, yes, I agree with ten dollars for this thing." Because this, I mean, hopefully this is worth what I paid for it to for extra, basically. But yeah, I got them at least a, a body for a Rattler, so we'll see if it's worthy of being able to be repaired. I'm not sure. Oh, but so everything else in the toy lot looked like junk. And so I just wanted this, but I think what they did is they just sent me all the other stuff and uh, they refunded me only $15, which means that for the extra lot that had this rattler that I stuff I didn't want and all I wanted was the rattler I paid $25 so basically it means I paid $25 for this rattler so I don't know if that's worth it or not there's nothing on it right and uh, oh, I think that landing gear is busted too I don't know maybe it's good for parts so yeah they included a bunch of stuff I don't even care about in here hopefully it's some of its worth reselling if I clean it up and maybe I can recoup some money but I can tell it looks like junk a lot of it looks like junk but uh, so I will get what's important the uh, Rolling Thunder stuff out and we'll see what we got okay I dug everything out of the junk and this is what I'm dealing with for parts to um, try to start working on a, a a nice rolling thunder and there was some stuff in here I didn't see in the pictures so uh, some potential bonus stuff in here 
Check this out. Vintage little TMNT game, Mirage Studios. So, um, some good parts here, and probably the best one, or one of the best ones, is this. Looks like it's not broken, the tabs on the bottom. So the main gun, looks like I scored that one. Uh, with decals, looks good. So that's a significant piece, for sure. Oh, and then, yeah, again, for this for this uh, Rolling Thunder lot, I paid, what did I pay? 70 or 80, about. about. So I got to hope that there's enough good salvageable parts here to make that worth it. And seeing this right here, that shatters my hopes of uh, replacing that one that was damaged. So I might have to figure out how to make, I might have to make those tabs work with the, the blast doors on the other one. We'll see if, if we can. Otherwise we'll have to figure something out. So I'll set this aside. Okay, there's another one of uh, this piece with the rails. Looks like both the railings are there. So there's some resellable pieces here too. So whichever one of these is, I think that other one on there is fine. So here's a, a piece that can be resold. Uh, oh, wow, here's the, I was wondering if this figure is gonna be complete. That's cool. Wow, look at this big old gun. What does that go to? All right, so continuing on with the actual Rolling Thunder parts. So we've got, looks like good blast doors, which I didn't have. So those are good pieces right there. And then, uh, this is unbroken. The, the gantry looks like it's probably unbroken. So that, that's probably a score. It looks like those tabs are the similar as the other ones so down here. So I think we're okay there. So there's the missile rack. But, uh, oops! Oh, missile wants to fall out. Uh, at the oh wow, it's broken off right there. Broken off in there. I could probably glue that back. That wouldn't be a big deal. I didn't break it. It was already it must have already been broken. Oh wow, they don't want to come off easy. I better turn off the camera and do this. Okay, looks like we did pretty good on the missiles. So both missiles have their top caps and bottom caps. This one looks like it's complete. It's got both windows and six missiles and six cluster bombs inside. And then there's that one little peg piece that did break off of the gantry piece. So one missile complete, that's nice. This one is missing, obviously, the win window and three of the bombs, but the other side is intact and it has both of its caps so pretty good there could have been better if it had everything of course but and so the gantry itself yeah i think it's actually really nice except for that one peg that broke because both of the ta connecting tabs Oops. don't fall sure don't fall i know this locks in place and i'm not gonna bother to do that uh, so one little repair then I guess I got a good gantry right here and then uh, uh, looks like there is one sliding slider right here but the other one is missing oh wait no is that is that this oh part of it I have one piece of it there okay so then we have the we have the but the back the rear fenders here looks like those are both good just need to be cleaned up and then going to the front, here's a, some key pieces is the windshields. They both look like they're they're intact and those I needed. I can't believe they even strip, Goodwill even stripped the windshields off of that Rolling Thunder. Oh wow, the seat belt's in there. So the seat belt for the seat is in there, that's cool. So we got that. Oh, and then finally, okay, the, the, the swivel, mount piece for the the chin gun they call it is there so i at least have that piece as well and you can see one wheel is missing off of this thing it's broken but so i can take those wheels off and put them for sale at least the extra wheels all right so that's oh and then i'm sorry there's more parts both of the ramps are here and they look like they're in decent shape they have the decal so those are nice pieces and then we've got 
This missile, I believe, actually goes to the Rolling Thunder, so that's good. And I believe this one does too. I believe that goes on the carousel, so that's good. And then we've got a bunch of extra accessories. Is this a Rambo gun? I'm not sure. I don't know what that goes to. It's been chewed on a little bit. <laughs> but we have a, uh, we got a figure actually in here. And he, it is complete at least. Accessories might not be complete, but. Uh, and then we got some accessories. This one doesn't look like it's G.I. Joe. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think it's G.I. Joe. But we got all these accessories. Those look like it could be some good ones. Uh, I'll have to figure those out. So, not bad. Got some bonus accessories. And, uh, and actually a figure that I can put together. Oh, that is the Night Viper. Okay, so that's a, a Night Viper. So, bonus figure. I could see... I could see that there was some kind of figure like parts of it in the lot but all this uh, most of these other accessories i didn't really see and and these extra missiles i didn't see as well so that's my initial run about i spent about 120 bucks so far and that's what i've got to work with but uh i got lucky on a few pieces here um that could be broken um but not didn't get lucky lucky on everything so there's still some work to be done and it's going to be i think it's going to be challenging uh to try to get this on on a budget because of the spending 50 dollars on the on the main base with pretty much no parts so but we'll see what we can do wow i'm working on cleaning this thing out and all these other accessories are oh no i already showed you that one but all these right accessories right there were still in there it's falling out so that's nice all right here's the one i'm harvesting parts from uh i took this off the main like um, the main cab piece uh, cab roof piece uh, it has a screw that you take out right here and then on the underside has two screws so you have to flip it over and there's two screws on the bottom of the vehicle right here and right here so i'm breaking it down so i can make sure and take this little uh, uh turret out safely here it is so this whole piece right here this one is damaged unfortunately uh but it had good tabs mine has a bad tab right there unfortunately so that would mean if i really wanted to replace that i would have to get this whole entire assembly right here so you see that you see where that comes from up up there i had to pop these tabs right there that's all that really holds that on so that's a bummer this piece is a nice piece but the decal placement on is better on the original one so uh, uh this one here so man that's just a that's the bummer that this tab is messed up i wonder how much it would cost to get the entire assembly for that but anyways i washed the windshields i got those out i took those out very carefully uh pried them out got all this stuff washed and uh, this is dry from last night that was the home run piece because it has no broken parts on it the gantry yeah this is my other dilemma is the gantry uh had that one broken ta uh, peg on it so bummer anyways i've broken this all the way down so i can carefully take out this and then uh, this thing is pretty much completely stripped down. I'll take the wheels off and put those for sale. But, you know, uh, the body, the vehicle itself has this broken off and the wheels missing. So I really doubt that there's anything to salvage. But once I take everything off of it, I really doubt there's anything else to salvage on that, unfortunately. Kind of sucks because it's a huge piece of plastic. I don't just want to, like, throw a vintage piece away. But uh, I don't know. Any ideas on what, what should be done with something like that? Uh, there's still the slide rails in here too so there's still a few pieces left and then there was one of the other part of the slide rail that was here and then i think like a half piece so there's a few spare pieces that may be good for reselling and i got a lot of cool accessories and a one figure out of it that was not necessarily part of the deal all right of the random extra accessories that were in the rolling thunder deep within the cab this it looks like a good one this is a 
Tiger Force Flint shotgun. That's like a $30 accessory. I guess that's pretty uncommon. So score, making it worth it with the extra accessories. I gotta see what these are still. All right, here's absolutely everything we could salvage from the Rolling Thunder record. So good parts, but not like highly desirable parts. Um, so I did decide to go with uh, the one that doesn't have the stress marks on it. And I might buy a replacement decal sheet uh, later on down the line. So I've got the, the main sliding gun mount piece. Uh, the front cab piece is nice. Uh, a lot of the uh, rail sliding pieces. And then uh, seven wheels, seven out of eight wheels and hubcaps. So I'll probably just list these all together and try to make a little bit of my money back. And so that'll be nice. And then I'm left with this, um, a main vehicle base that has, you know, one wheel spoke broken off. Uh, and then this, this piece, the seat piece has cracks and breaks in it. So I'll put it up for sale, but I really doubt anybody's going to go for that. But uh, I hate to throw it away or recycle it or anything. So we'll at least try to sell it. Hopefully somebody wants it, even if I just break even i wouldn't mind sell it you know getting it to somebody who actually wants to do something with it so that's where we're at we got a little potential to make a little money back but uh i think we're doing pretty decent in regards to budget all right of the junk toys that uh were in there uh, some of it's not so bad this is a, a vintage uh pony boy roll toy cap revolver holster i i don't know one the exact same thing sold uh somebody took a best offer but it, it was priced at 45 dollars with 1765 shipping i mean <laughs> 1765 shipping there's profit right there because it doesn't take hardly that much to ship this so that's good this could be make me a little of the money back for sure so that's a plus and we'll see what else we got from the junk toys it might end up being end up like virtually breaking us even on a lot of this stuff so that's the fun of being a reseller in addition to collecting uh you can really supplement you know offset the cost of your hobby uh for collecting here's another one from there uh, a vintage marks uh, u.s army pistol belt for kids uh, toy belt um I haven't seen one of these sell recently, but it just, man, this seller was really lazy. If they would have just like actually tried to clean this stuff up and put it for sale, they could make a little bit more money. Uh, but this could be a $30, $40 sale at some point too. All right. Also amongst the junk they sent me uh, was this vintage 1980s Cabbage Patch Kids uh, raincoat, size medium, girls size medium. I wiped it down it's not bad it's got minor fading but it's not bad so even I can I can sell it for 20 bucks I mean fine it all helps me recoup my cash so we'll see how we can do with that it's pretty neat all right here's a nice batch of sales um, I sold uh, doom 64 instruction manual I think that might actually be mine from when I was a kid uh, 1118 total paid by the customer sold that nerf raven fire that one was working good uh 4864 total paid by the customer for the raven fire uh ryan told me that was a what do you say coles exclusive i think so <laughs> there's one i had for a while uh that was not a good buy back in the day i think i paid hardly anything for it kelly toy plush uh 809 total paid by the customer glad to move that along uh accessory looked up on uh with the image search on on ebay the six million dollar man pistol accessory that was one i had for a while and i couldn't figure out what it was and then i finally got a good good scan on it 1275 total paid by the customer this is a modern jurassic park humvee accessory goes on some humvee a jurassic park toy uh 816 total paid by the customer and finally uh vintage uh, i think it's fisher price uh, i can't remember exactly but it's a toy line called bone age this is a, a spare a, a, a replacement part for one of the dinosaur figures uh 858 total paid by the customer 
All right, got a few sales here. Um, sold a vintage Mortal Kombat 4 manual for Nintendo 64. Mortal Kombat 4. 1054 total pay by the customer. Uh, from Ross, I bought these uh, Beyblade Burst sets. They were $5 a piece. I put those together and those sold for $27.55 total pay by the customer. Beyblade's a good toy to, to resell. Uh, if you can find it at decent prices. I went to Ross today actually and there was some sets, but they were more expensive and it looks like probably a lot of people are trying to sell them. Uh, and I did pick this up at Ross. There was a Masters of the Universe Origin Strider for only $5.99. I already have that one of course, he's right here. But uh, I'm gonna, I got an extra one to keep in the package, pretty cool there's still stuff coming out at Ross it's pretty cool and then uh, the the one that was really unexpected is this is for the CGR cartoon He-Man and the Masters of the Universe so it's not the toy I didn't collect this toy line at all but I've been buying the the playset and stuff there was the a little place that I got from Ross for $8.99 and then this is Castle Grayskull the big playset pretty neat um, $24.99 only so I'm actually gonna open both those little play set, these, this place up and then the little place set, uh, the little place that's right here underneath all this stuff. I'm gonna open those both up and I'm gonna display them. I'll probably use them for my origins. I might, I might put the castle in here if it fits. I don't know how tall it is. How tall is it? 20 inches. I don't know if that's how tall it is. 20.8. So hopefully it'll fit in here and I can change my origins display. So I thought that'd be pretty cool, but uh, pretty cool deals at at, uh, um, at Ross. They even got a Xbox uh, Series X. No, I'm just kidding. And finally, last sale um, from my vintage GI Joe lot, the one I paid $400 for and got a bunch of awesome stuff for my collection. Incredible figures, a couple thousand dollars worth of eBay sales. Uh, in there was some of the old school uh, for the the twelve inch figure GI Joe's dog tags. I uh, put those together in a lot, and those sold for thirty eight eleven total pay by the customer. All right, sold this tool belt for about uh, uh, seventeen eighteen bucks. I mean, not tool belt. Uh, this marks a U.S. Army kids belt, so that makes some of the money back for the lot. Pretty neat. So, I'm close to basically getting that Rattler for parts I guess for free so any every little bit helps to compensate you know uh, to work on uh, offsetting the cost that I paid for the rolling thunder and all that stuff all right guys well that's gonna do it for this video hope you enjoyed all that please like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one